Well, good morning, everyone. It's Letitia with Bear Fruit Gardening. I hope that you are doing well. Um, I am out here trying to harvest some things. Um, it is quite warm already uh, this morning, and I just wanted to see uh, what's uh, growing too, and kind of how the condition of the garden is after this rain that we got. And I'm so grateful for the rain because, um, you know, you don't have to water if you get a nice good rain. Um, and we did. So, uh, but I'm seeing some new things going on. So here is a Cubanelle pepper plant um, with its first fruit. Isn't that amazingly, like, just beautiful? Okay. And it has more flowers. So we're going to have more fruit soon. I'm excited to see that. The tomato plants are bearing fruit as well, um, and nothing ready to ripe except uh, ready to harvest except maybe one, and I kind of see it blushing right underneath there. I don't know if y'all can see it. Let me go to the other side. This is a blueberry cherry tomato, I do believe, and the wasps are out, y'all. I mean, I really feel like they're. Um, just the big pollinators this year in my garden and last year as well Another thing I'm seeing too. Let me show you all this blueberry cherry. Oh my gosh. I think it's ready um, is flies there are flies everywhere like Everywhere all over my cucumber plant all over and those leaves were looking so beautiful now some of the damage from the cucumber plant leaves is from beetles y'all know i've been bad on the japanese beetles but there are just like little flies i don't know if y'all can see them look at this all over the trellis here all over the yard um so i don't know if we just had a hatch or if new you know flies just had whatever they do oh no i turned it hold on <laughs> and the the air quality is horrible today so um that's why i'm wearing this y'all like my fro it's about to be gone though. <laughs> Stay tuned. Uh, okay, so here is the blueberry cherry tomato plant. And got more cherry tomatoes on there. But we have one somewhere. Now I can't see it. Oh, there it is. Right there. I think it's ready. So um, I'm gonna let little Big Girl Farmer though harvest that because she's excited about harvesting tomatoes um so i'm gonna leave it there um this is the san marzano uh tomato plant tons 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 i'm excited about that oh my gosh the flies look at all the flies i did remember last year having an issue with flies um as well it's like they just come out of nowhere uh, but there's a lot. Look at all these flies on this cucumber plant. Yeah, they're all on the under leaves of the plants. Um, and I don't really know of any benefit to having flies in the garden. Maybe they pollinate a little bit. But uh, never really heard it. Look at that guy. There he is. Got him. Get him. One minute. And there's a cucumber beetle. This is what I've been doing with these guys. Kind of collecting them. <laughs> Hold on a second. Yep. Figure that out. Figure that out. I don't even see him trying to fight. He just, he just, maybe I squeeze him a little bit as I was carrying him. Okay. Let's see here. <sighs> Those are the pole beans, y'all. Climbing over to this trellis here. Yep. And, uh,. plants are the squash plants are getting huge look at that yeah but uh so I got some more Tachi cucumbers coming on they are really 
after I picked that one, they are just growing. And of course the rain is helping. The watering is definitely helping. I really enjoyed the cucumber. I mean, it's not, it's not like the best thing I've ever ate in my entire life, but I'll grow it. I like it. We ate them. We will eat them. Okay, so here's, here's the, here's the moss, the squash. My first harvest of squash um, this year. And this plant is, you know, amazingly huge. But one thing that is so dope is y'all see how the leaves, the stems that I normally like I started cutting off um, just because oh there's a squash bug you see him hold on I ain't got time I ain't got time Let's see if I can yeah I got him oh yeah I got that sucker good <laughs> oh, there's another squash seedling coming up right there but uh, so that makes me think I need to check this plant for squash bug eggs of course Okay, but it's kind of dope how these stems are supporting the squash and it's off the ground, you know? So I think that's kind of dope. Okay, let's harvest this thing. This is, the, this is supposed to be an eight ball uh, zucchini. Uh, and zucchini are in the squash family, by the way. Um, and I've left it out here for a while, so it's quite big. It's quite big. Maybe I should have harvested it two days ago, but anywho, um, let's just do it now. And there's other fruits, but um, they're not ready. So this is my first time ever growing it. Oh my gosh. And uh, yeah, it's <laughs> bigger than my hand. I'm up. Mm. Mm. I'm twisting and twisting to get it off. Y'all, that took some effort. Wow. Look at that. Okay, give me one second. Let me zoom the camera out just a bit so you can see a little better. Look at that guy. Wow. Okay, the the um, brown stuff on it is just um, cinnamon. Okay. And this got some weight, so I'm going to take it in the house and weigh it and just see how much how much it weighs um but the plant is producing more fruits and um we're just gonna wait and see what happens look at that guy there's another cucumber beetle um and then when it cools off a little bit i'm gonna come back out here and do some inspections um around uh, this plant there's a fruit that didn't get pollinated okay so I'm just going to remove it because the ants are just, ooh, kind of stunk too. Um, but, uh, yeah, let's take it in the house and weigh this. I'm just, I'm just curious to see how much it is. But we have our first eight ball zucchini squash. Yay! at that so a little big girl farmer is going to grab this um she came outside and say hey, what's up everybody she's saying it's stinky over here for some reason i don't know i can't really smell because of my my mask i thought I yeah. it's okay just grab the the tomato so we can get away from it see it down here yeah, no you get it you said you wanted to get it <sighs> come on sweet peas it's okay um, there's a mix of compost and peat moss so maybe that's what she's smelling I don't know but I don't really smell it hurry up babe come on grab it see it down there uh, yeah. but I don't know if I can get yes you it. can reach in there and get it mm. come on mm. come on come on are those prickles no they won't hurt you they won't hurt mm. you go on babe now, a bug just went boring. Oh, Lord. It went what? A bug went here. I felt it. Mm. And it said, boink. Mm. Come on, babe. Mm. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. Tomato plants are fine. Can't 
Now, look at that. That's beautiful. You know, it might have could have went another day. But that's our first. Uh, this is a. I'm pretty sure it's a blueberry cherry. Let's see. Yep. Blueberry cherry tomato. Can you show me? Thanks, babe. All right. Let's go inside and weigh the squash. All right. So we have a scale. And it's at zero, and we have ounces. Uh oh, accidentally touched it. Okay. Mmm, nothing's on it. Wait a minute. So, I wonder why it's doing that. Hold on. Let's try to reset it. Okay. Negative one. So, we'll just take one away. I'm not sure why it's doing that. Um. Oh gosh. So one pound. It says one pound, two point three ounces. Get it, girl. She spotted a cabbage moth. One pound and two point three ounces. So negative one. Um, remember that. But that's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. I like it. So thank you all so much for watching. Love you. We're excited about our first harvest of eight ball zucchini. Doesn't look like the package though. That's the only, I, I bought these seeds from in my gardener and I don't recall, I thought it was a darker green, um, but that's okay. All right, peace.